there are a lot of people who come here week after week after week and they just sit simply sit and, and look at the stones or stand and look at the stones there is most definitely a magic about them there's an aura welcome to stonehenge perhaps the most famous monument in the world its circle of giant stones standing for centuries on salisbury plain as one of the great mysteries of civilization sharon white describes the scene what we regard as Stonehenge, the stone circle, is only a small part of a very large ancient and archaeological area. There are on the skyline, as you, if you stand at Stonehenge and look around, you'll see the ancient burial mounds of the families that actually built Stonehenge. There's some 400 of them um, within sight if you know where to look for them. And once you do know, the entire area takes on an extremely eerie feeling as you realize you are walking where others before you walked thousands of years earlier. So what exactly is Stonehenge and why was it built? The mystery of Stonehenge is the fact that we don't actually know um, and I hope we never do really find out. But yes, it was almost certain to have been a, a, for some ceremonial use. You don't go to that much effort over a period of um, a thousand and a half years to come up with something that has no significance. It was probably the sun, because everything points towards the, um, the summer sunrise, the summer solstice. The, the sun actually rises over a stone we call the hill stone and shines directly through across the altar stone and out through the, main, uh, the large trilophon on the particular time of the summer solstice. But on the other hand, we also have the people who say, if you turn around and look the other way, the moon at its highest point also does the reverse. So there again, we have, was it the sun or was it the moon? There, are, there is the belief that it was some massive um, calendar, that it uh, was something to do with fertility rites and where the sun was shining through, like a major sundial, if you like, told them when to plant their crops, when to harvest their crops. Um, I mean, there is so many different versions and I mean that's the magic of it that's why it's magic